Welcome back. Now, days after data of many Air India customers were com was compromised, uh, this time around, Jubilant Food Works, uh, which runs the chain of Domino's India outlets, has also faced a cyber attack with personal information of customers being hacked. Now, the compromised data includes name, email addresses, mobile numbers, GPS location of Domino's customers. Now, taking the seriousness of the attack into consideration, the Security Incident Response Team, or the SIRT, is working with cybersecurity experts to try and learn more about this breach. In a statement issued, the security incident response team has said that the attack was a highly sophisticated one and in order to counter it, containment measures have now been taken. Joining us now is uh, CEO of, uh, uh, of uh, Cebu Cybersecurity, Binu Arora. Binu, hi. Uh, once again, we connect at a time when we are seeing in the last about 48 to 72 hours multiple cyber attacks. Yeah, it's becoming like a, like a daily routine for most of the technologies these days where every morning you wake up and you have another large data breach being reported. Now, I do want to iterate this point, which is very, very important here. It's not, you know, the, the fact is, it's not that suddenly all of, a, you know, all of a sudden, like you had these cybersecurity, you know, uh, cybersecurity incidents which are popping up. These issues have been occurring for a long time. It's just a fact now there is more awareness and because of which more number of issues are actually coming onto the surface. And in this case, it's uh, unfortunate. It appears that uh, an unknown or, you know, we haven't been able to attribute this threat actor yet, but it appears that the threat actor was able to get access to over 100 million unique records from, the, from this impacted organization, which includes a lot of sensitive data as well. And at the time of, uh, you know, our research, it's still in, you know, in progress, but it seems like the hacker uh, is basically trying to get the, you know, money out of uh, Domino's, and they're using these uh, leak sites mm -hmm. as an attempt to put this organization on extortion, which is very unfortunate. Hmm. Now, is this an individual or a state-backed entity, and is the group the same that hacked into the uh, airline uh, data? At this point in time, there is no clear artifact suggesting that it is coming from the same threat actor. I do want to acknowledge that the actor who is behind this particular breach is the same actor who was previously, who has been previously attributed to the breach which occurred Mobi Quick, uh, which you know I think we, if you refresh our memory, for a few weeks ago. Uh, so it's yes. it's a known threat actor. Uh, they're very sophisticated in terms of the information they're targeting. They are financially motivated, and they are using extortion as a mechanism to, you know, you know, to basically get some money out of those victims. Hmm. But uh, where is this data being dumped? You know, even the airline hack which happened, the information that was gleaned, uh, has there been any data dump which has happened? What is the nature or the uh, the extent of the breach which has happened? And is it only to extort money from Domino's or is there also threat to the people whose data has been leaked now? So the airline incident and the Domino's incident, incident at this point in time are being treated separately, different threat actors to our understanding at this point in time. Now, in the context of the airlines, it's... Uh, as the reports are coming out, it's not just Air India, which is being affected by this breach. There are multiple other airlines because of the, the passenger system or the third party, which was which actually has been compromised, which affects over 4 million users of Air India as well, who have traveled for the last 10 years with these airlines. Now with the Domino's, again, a different threat actor who is using more of an extortion mechanism by publishing a leak site, where they are basically creating a panic among these uh, you know, owners of these, uh, this company at this point in time. Now, I think what is really important to note is uh, the dumps for these two airlines, which we, based on our research, I suggest there are certain threat actors, mm -hmm. not just one. There are at least two threat actors, which Cybel is aware of, who has got these data dumps already available. And currently, they are being sold out in the dark web markets for anywhere from hundred thousand dollars to anywhere from three hundred thousand three hundred thousand dollars so it's a very valuable data as you would imagine because it includes the gps garden the geo coordinates of people along with the addresses yeah. where people have been getting their deliveries uh, from dominoes which you know from uh, it depends on who is actually looking at data it can actually help you to geolocate 
a large population of, uh, of their buyers in the country, which can be of uh, a lot of advantage to a more you know, financially motivated as well as for competitors at, at, at some point. Now, two, two questions. One, what are the countermeasures that have been put in place? How can this be stopped? L let's address that. And then I'll come to the best case and worst case scenario of how bad is the situation for those whose data is leaked? I think uh, countermeasures, I mean, it actually varies from an enterprise perspective and from a consumer standpoint. Naturally, enterprise, uh, you know, there, there's more demand. It is, there's a, it's imperative for them to invest in their technology stack to secure the infrastructure from the hackers. And I won't go deep into that because there's so many things you can do from a defense in depth model perspective. But from a consumer standpoint, because they are the ones who are at the greatest risk at the moment, not just because of the financial, financially motivated cyber criminals, but even the identity thefts and frauds, which are happening quite a lot in India, the, you know, you know in, the, in the last few months, which we are, which we are witnessing. Yes. And for them, it's really critical. So three things which I would, I would I highly recommend. A, please monitor your financial transactions on your credit card. Look at your banking statements. Keep an eye to make sure that your information is not getting out. Second thing, if you are using any of the credentials and any of these victim websites, please change those credentials, use multi-factor authentication. The good old saying, a password, just one password is not sufficient to secure you from identity thefts and frauds. Use multi-factor, like OTP for an example. Mm. And the third and foremost, awareness is pretty critical. So which means you will, there are a lot of scams which are currently going around through you know, WhatsApp messages, through SMSs, through emails. Please do not click on any of the messages or links which you're getting on a phone from an unsolicited, unsolicited sender. If you don't recognize somebody, don't open it. Hmm. So that's the recommendation from, from a consumer standpoint I would like to highlight here. Right. But, but as an individual, if uh, I am buying from Domino's or I am buying Domino's and my data is leaked, isn't that a breach of my privacy? What's my legal recourse here? If I am flying with Air India and my data is being leaked, yep. what's my legal recourse? It's not my fault because it's not being hacked through my phone. I think uh, you know that's probably a broader conversation than just this particular breaches. I think right to privacy is is definitely which the the rules of the land do support it, and everybody has right to a privacy. Now, in terms of the implications for organizations who are not taking adequate measures and still being compromised at the same time, not reporting to the subjects or the data principles of their information breaches, hmm. I think that's the part of a larger debate, and something which I know for the fact that the government of India, right. for an example, they're working through with the data protection bill for the last few years. And uh, we hope that with the increased awareness and with the rapid rise of these security incidents, what we are witnessing, this, 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 there is a need mm -hmm. for some measures to, measures to be taken you know, as, as, or as quickly as possible, in my opinion. Well, Binu Arora, thank you very much for joining us.